All right, here's your neighborhood forecast as we have a WJZ first alert weather day in effect here for this evening as we're tracking some storms to our north that may try to make a run at parts of the northern ports of the state over the next few hours. So we've got storm chances tonight and then Debbie is going to give us some soaking rains here to close out the week. Here's first alert Doppler radar tracking those storms right now making their way slowly towards the south. Uh, and you can see that the strongest storms are staying just across the border, but we're going to be watching for uh, more to try to fire up as they get a little bit closer to the border here. Notice how they're just kind of bleeding southward over the past hour or so. So we're going to keep an eye on parts of Washington County and Frederick County and the Carroll County through, I'd say, 8 o'clock tonight for these storms to try to make their way into the region. And then we'll be looking at the Baltimore area perhaps uh, towards midnight for a chance for some showers and storms. Although by that point, I do think they'll be much weaker. More storms developing back towards parts of uh, western PA or north of Pennsylvania, uh, north of Pittsburgh, I should say. Those should stay just off to our north, but we'll keep an eye on those for our friends out in western Maryland if they do happen to make a turn to the south. Uh, in your neighborhood here for tonight, we're looking at readings into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Westminster still at 95, 97 for Frederick, feeling like 107. So we've seen the heat index get over 100 degrees for many locations this afternoon. And that did provide the fuel for a couple of storms that did happen to pop up earlier this afternoon. But again, the chances for rain will continue overnight tonight as a front that's to our north stalls out. It just kind of hangs around the region here for tomorrow. Notice these high clouds coming in from the south. This is actually some of the high clouds associated with the outer edge of Debbie. There's Debbie right there as it's just off the Georgia uh, South Carolina coast. It's continuing to spread rain northward and we expect more rain pushing into the area here through Thursday and the Friday and possibly even lasting into Saturday morning. We're still getting the timing down on when this is going to move in and move out. But either way, it looks like by the end of this week, we're going to have some soaking rains to deal with. Potential there still for about two to five inches of rainfall across the area. The heaviest rain west of I-95, the way it looks right now. Lower totals over on the eastern shore, but it's going to be a good soaking rain for most of us. We just don't need the flooding threat, and that is certainly a possibility, especially with some of these tropical downpours that may be occurring here to close out the week. couple of our forecast models that we're looking at. This is the American model. Notice that we've got widespread two, three, four inches of rainfall there. Notice the heaviest rain out towards parts of western Maryland where we can see upwards of six inches. And then the European model showing a similar scenario with a rainfall totals around two to four inches. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that very closely as that heavy rain threat too much of it at one time could certainly cause some problems. First alert seven day forecast get high rain chances through the end of the week and notice the temperatures. We don't have any 90s on there because the clouds and the showers and storms are going to keep temperatures down. We have an alert day for Friday may have to add Thursday to that just in case the rain comes in a little bit earlier. But either way you look at it, some heavy rain on the way after tonight's storms and then the weekend is looking much better. Rain moving out early on Saturday, and then finally looks like we'll get some lower humidity and sunshine in here to close out the weekend. We'll be right back.